So I literally just recorded this video and realized mic wasn't on. Not a good start, is it? You don't need me to tell you that inflation is being an absolute troll at the moment, much like this microphone, actually. Whether it's gas prices going through the roof, I mean, what the hell? Middle of summer. How the hell can gas be costing that much when it's boiling outside? Food prices going through the roof, the general cost of living, all those different things. I know a lot of people are now looking for a couple of extra ways to make a little bit of extra money online. So while a lot of these scammy gurus out there will tell you that you can earn six figures, seven figures, 19 figures a month, if you buy their course that is, the truth is most of us just want a little bit of extra money on the side to make things a little bit easier. Over the past couple of months then, I've been tracking my own side hustle journey, which is my own blog, which I've been tracking throughout this channel. And safe to say over the past couple of months, it's been quite consistent at earning an extra $100 a month. In the video today then, I'm gonna break down if you were to start a blog today, how long it would take you to earn $100, the exact number of page views, the number of posts, all those good different things. So let's jump into it. The time scales. So I know a lot of you are purely only gonna be interested in how long it's gonna take to earn that first $100 per month. After all, blogging isn't really that much of a passive income source and instead takes a lot of hard work and effort before you start seeing the fruit of your labor, which is a disgusting saying. If then you have a blog which is purely monetized through ads, which is something that a lot of bloggers do in the beginning, how long is it going to take you? Well, using my own case study website, it's taken me around 11 to 12 months to earn that initial $100 per month. Again, this has been purely achieved through ads. I'm sure it could have been achieved a lot faster if I mixed in info products or even affiliate or any of those kinds of things, but trying to keep things simple. So that's the time scale for a relative beginner. But what about the experts? What do they say about earning the first $100 a month? Well, as many of you know, I follow Income School's Project 24, which is a fantastic beginner course to teach you all the ins and outs of blogging. There's an affiliate link in the description box if you are interested in having a look at it. But their recommendations are also bang on around 12 months or so. So why? Why is it if you start a blog today, you won't really be earning any money until around a year or so down the line? I mean, that's quite a large amount of time to put in hard work and effort and not really see the result, right? To be as blunt as possible, it's probably because Google thinks your website is absolute dog shit. Through absolute no fault of yourself, that is. You see, when your website is young, it has absolutely zero authority, no links pointing towards it, any of those kinds of things. So Google's naturally going to be a little bit more distrustworthy. Distrust, untrustworthy, that's the word I want. They're going to be a lot more untrustworthy of your website than they would, say, some of your competitors that being around even maybe a year or two before you. Your website then needs a little bit of time in order to prove its authority and prove its professionalism for lack of a better term. To give you a practical example then, let's say you set up a snowboarding website, which is my go-to example that I like to use, and you were doing your keyword research and found a keyword that isn't too competitive, you're able to rank for, which is how to clean a snowboard, for example. Upon doing your keyword research, then you find that this search term can bring in around a thousand or so pages per month if you rank number one. So you hit the publish button, expecting to be ranking number one instantaneously, and guess what? Not gonna happen. Instead, once Google sent its little crawling bots to crawl your initial website, it's gonna rank it dead last on the last page of that search result. It's gonna test that content, see if it's actually quality content, and slowly increase its ranking over the next couple of months or so. Now, this is actually one of the reasons why a lot of websites actually go through like a ghost town phase where they won't be seeing any increase in traffic, won't be earning any money in their websites. And then after the eight months to one year mark, all of a sudden, they start getting a little bit of a hockey stick when it comes to growth of their website. The page views. So now you know that it's gonna take around about a year or so to get your website to earning that first $100. What about the number of page views that you need? in order to hit that mark. Just a quick one guys, I know some of you are brand new to blogging, so a page view is simply when someone clicks on an individual page on your website. Using my own website then as an example, it's taken me roughly around 7,500 page views in order to earn my first $100 or so per month in earnings. This again was achieved purely through ads and it's worth mentioning that depending on your niche, all those different kinds of things, your earnings might vary a little bit depending on that. Now, there are obviously a few ways that we can reduce the number of page views required to hit that $100 per month mark, whether it's just simply adding affiliate links on your website, which should take up around about 30% to 50% of your entire website's earnings, which will hopefully reduce the number of page views that you need there from 7,500 maybe to around 5,000 or so. Number of posts. So page views we know, timescales we know, but what about the actual number of blog posts you or your writers need to write in order to get that $100 per month mark? Using the eight month mark as a barometer of how long it takes to rank content, only around 30 of my posts were actually eight months old to hit that 7,500 page view mark. So for me at least, it took about 30 posts of around 250 page views per post per month each in order to hit that mark, which is a lot of words 
in a very small space of time and I am exhausted. So 30 posts then is a good number to aim for. But bear in mind, if this is your first time ever setting a website, like it was mine two years ago, you might want to exceed these expectations a little bit. I mean, my first website was earning maybe around 50 page views per post per month. Just goes to show how much you can grow doing this. So. If that's the case with yourself and this is your first website, maybe aim for about 50 to 60 posts. Blogging family. I'll tell you what, let's go for a little walk, shall we? Um, as always, this is a weird angle. You guys haven't actually seen this room from the beginning, but the work's going okay and the hair is very flat. But what I wanted to just say is if you're interested, as always, in more videos around, you know, blogging, personal development, side hustles, any of those kinds of things, it really does help out the channel when you absolutely smash the like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're aware of when all these fantastically produced videos are next live on the website, on the website, on YouTube rather, website from my brain. And until the next one, I'll be sure to leave you to it. All the best for now and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Have a good one. Bye.